Hi there. Um, I just wanted to do a quick demonstration um, about how to set up Microtonic within a drum rack. Um, it might be that you just, you know, you don't want to program drums um, actually from in from within Microtonic, the kind of drum machine interface. You um, actually want to set up the sounds on individual kind of notes or pads within the drum rack. Um, that would then allow you the flexibility to add effects uh, within inside the drum rack. Um, and have things coming on individual outputs, etc. Um, so it's a very handy, handy feature. Um, so what I'm going to do first of all uh, is I'm going to drop in a drum rack onto a MIDI track here, uh, or an instrument track, and then I'm going to open up the uh, device and chain list as well. And you can see here there's an area which says Drop MIDI Effects, Audio Effects, Instruments or Samples here. So I'm then going to go down and find um, the uh, multiple output version of multi microtonic and I'm going to drop it down on here on this kind of area um, and you can see that I'm playing some notes but nothing's actually happening it's not actually kind of reaching it um, now <coughs> the uh, eight kind of sounds within microtonic are assigned to MIDI notes and if we just hover above one here you can see it says uh, it's C1 so what we want to do is get um, this C1 here on the drum rack to send out a note to Microtonic. So the first thing we're going to do is just click on this input output selector here. Um, and you can see then it gives you some notes. There's a receive note and a play note as well. And at the moment it's transmitting to C3. Um, but we want to put that down to C1. So I'm going to do that now. And now if I play a note, you can see that it's actually hitting that C there. So that's brilliant. We've got, we've got one note coming out. Now we want to um, assign um, the drum racks to play the other seven notes as well, or the other seven sounds within Microtonic. So that is a very handy feature here in Ableton, which is uh, external instrument. And um, I'm going to drag that down to the chain list here and it says it, it you can see it automatically assigns it to c sharp one which is exactly what we want um but it's still playing c3 so we want to drag that down and make that uh, c sharp one there we go um it's still not working we need to then set the midi output to drum rack there we go and you can see now it's playing c sharp um and we basically need to keep doing that for all eight or, or, or sort of the rest of the seven sounds within Microtonic. Um, it's slightly, slightly laborious, but once it's done, you could then save it um, as your own kind of rack, and then you can it will always be available for you, which is which is really handy. So I'm going to do that now, um, and this time I'm going to set the audio from MT3, which is this note here something we have to do. Um, I might as well keep going. Um, it shouldn't take too long. There we go. We've got another one here. This one is going to be D sharp. And let's assign that to drum rack. Um, and that's going to go to four. It's a bit of a quiet sound there, but get the picture. I mean, of course, we could change, we could change the actual um, sort of uh, patch here within Sonic Charge to give it some different sounds and it won't make any difference, they're, they're all still going to play. Um, so let's keep going. Uh, this is going to be on E. Oh, sorry, not E2, we want E1. There we go, and MIDI output to drum rack. And let's put that on 5. There we go. It's going to bring this up a bit. So I oh, know it's when I should bring let me bring it up. Okay, so this one's gonna be on F one. Gonna find it in a minute. There we go. And again, out to the drum rack. This is gonna be on six. Two more to go. In fact I'm just gonna drag two of it now. There we go. Okay, so we've got F sharp. Let's just drag that down. And then another one on G. Okay, and then let's just quickly assign those. Put that down to seven. And then this one, last one, thank goodness. Here we go. 
There we go, we've got that. So we've got them all playing now. And um, what we can do just to um, kind of correspond to the notes, we could we could kind of actually call them something here. So let's do... Um, sorry, I just uh, created a new track by mistake. Let's uh, do that. Okay, so let's go... Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go. And we can play them from within here. So um, that's that's that set up, and of course, what we could do now, we can now from within the drum rack, we can we can set up some effects um, with the send and return. So if we click these buttons here, the S, the S, and the R, and then for example, we drag over a reverb. Um, let's have a look, like this one here, and then we set the send. I'm just going to check that reverb to make sure that it's 100% wet. Yep, and then we go back here and we set the send. You can see that's working. Um, we could uh, set up a ping pong delay as well um, as a send B. Maybe you could put that on the clap. So then we can close that and then uh, we can program a beat. Uh, first of all, we need to uh, actually turn the drum rack off so it's not playing. Let's have a look at that. Okay, let's press stop there. There we go. And then we can just going to delete that. And then let's put the metronome on. There we go, and you can program away. And you can see the notes are, are in there. <clears throat> They're obviously not in time at the moment, so let's give it a bit, give them a bit of a concise. And we can call that. Um, I'm going to call that um, MT Drum Rack. There, that channel. Um, and uh, we can call that something as well. We can call. We can call that. Yeah, we'll call that uh, Ski MT Drum rack and then we can save that uh <coughs> yeah i've got m ski mt drum rack um so there you go that's how to do it i hope that helps um and that might be of use to you and of course you don't have to you you know you don't have to just do this with the microtonic you could use um anything really you could use any sort of third party plugins like battery it could be quite good for a contact or even some synths you know it's a very handy feature just basically using this external instrument feature so um there you go. Have fun. See you later. Bye.